Okay, so this tutorial is on non-linear deformers. The idea of this is to get a piece of geometry to spiral or to curl up. Um, and it's really simple and dead quick. So, right, we'll start by creating some geometry. We'll go with a polygon pipe. And we just want it really thin, so it's kind of like a tube. And quite long. That's cool. And I'll get that so it's at minus ninety. Bring it back down to the grid and frame. Now we need to make sure that the subdivision height will allow for like a smooth curve. Uh, rather than lots of corners and jagged edges and stuff. So, I have an absolutely stinking cold at the moment, by the way, so you'll have to excuse any swamp hog sound effects. Or heavy breathing. Okay. So now we have our tube, and what we want to do now is get it so it kills up. So, we want to go to the animation shelf here. So you've got all your animation stuff up here. So click on that and then create deformer. We want non-linear and we want to bend deformer. Now if we go to the box here, we want low bound 0, high bound 10, curvature 4. And there we go. Now this is the deformer. Now this is at the wrong angle at the moment, so what we need to do is change that, so there you go, so it's approximately 90, now if we keep it at exactly 90 on the z-axis there, you'll see when we move it along it does curl up but it just makes a perfect circle and obviously the geometry is going through, each, through itself, so what we want to do if you can get the deformer and just pull that down a little, it should now, if I select the right thing, spiral. There we go. Now we probably want that a little bit tighter and smaller. So just using your normal kind of scale and whatnot. And get that a little smaller. And then, as you dragged along, we'll try and do and mess with the curvature and stuff to get it as you can see there. It gets rid of the full circle, so go for three. And you can make it smaller and tighter. And obviously, once it starts to deform like that, if you change the angle and things of the actual deformer, there we go. And it'll give you a lot more control and stuff. You've really just got to play with the angles in order to get used to it. And then, what we can do. If we straighten this out, and we'll frame that so you can see it, and then we'll keyframe the position, so here, and then at 48, we'll just keyframe that there, and then hopefully, there we go. We have some curling, rolling geometry. Now what you can do is, because that's very straightforward and it's just a curling up and spiralling, and I'll show you the settings again. Now for this one I've got the envelope at 1, curvature 5, low bound 0, high bound 5. Now if you look at the actual deformer to get the right angle, so it 
literally curls up straight along here, you want the long end of the deformer along the geometry basically. But what you can do is if we curl this up, and then we'll go in and frame it again so it's easy to see. If you just mess with the rotation again, you can have it kind of corkscrewing up as well. And kind of making it into a spring. Making it kind of curl down like a spring as well and and it'll follow there. I mean you can have this wrapping around things and and all sorts and it's all the angle all the angle of it. Now if you just remember envelope one curvature five or four will do low bound zero high bound five or ten, that's usually what I go for for making kind of good spirals and you can just mess with the shape and the angle but it's so simple and one of the things I struggled with with one of my projects was finding something to kill geometry without having to it was in a rig and without having to add expressions to each joint because I got to the point where I had a, I think about 150 joints um, that all needed to kill, but I didn't really need that much control over it, so I made a separate model, basically just copied the geometry, and then went from there. So if you want it to spiral, and so the geometry doesn't kind of wrap in on each other, you change the rotation of the z-axis. There we go, that's probably a bit tight. But it's all just a matter of playing with it basically. There we go. And really easily kind of animatable as well. So there you go. A non-linear bender former to curl geometry very simply. Any questions just ask and I'm sorry for the husky tones and heavy breathing. Enjoy. Goodbye.